Hey folks, it's Brian. Uh, I know I haven't been putting, well, it's a far right update. I haven't been putting many of these out this past week because I've got a paper draft to do this week. And I'm stressing hard on this one. Um, uh, we're not going to do a Dylan's log this time, this particular uh, session. Um, well, you'll see some of the things. So, as I mentioned last time, we got a job. Looking for the mounting points and the shield generator for, for the shield field, the field shield generator and the fuel capacity of uh, ship. Uh, so we outfit ourselves. Actually, did he outfit? He may have outfitted us. Sneak suits, scopes, multivision goggles, com gear. I bring my printed dagger. Um, a reminder to all of us internally about hey we're looking for this the reason we're here is we're looking for a missing battle cruiser um a few things about the sector here the Renan 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 Empire capitals on Deza Cohen 4 um they have two uh shipyards is the right word ship facilities here One's general products, the other is yard 17. Yard 17 is where the boneyard is. Then there's uh, the GSSR, which is the military society. Their capital is on Mite 2. Then there's the plaque on Hegemi. They're just two planets, and one of them has a shipyard. Well, about 200 years ago, uh, general products moved its productions his products to strictly civilian manufacture. This is some research we've been doing. Yard 17 picked up some of those contracts. Um, over at Yard 17 is this huge volcanic area that's not natural. We kind of figure maybe some kind of Nova Gun type explosion. <clears throat> huge area. And uh, about this time, my son came in. He came home from work and he needed to talk so we went out and sat on the couch and we talked for a while about an hour later i get back into the game um uh, there was an airlock we do a video feed through the ship we check the lot number and this is the ship we're looking for the hull number on the ship is 9532 it's about 250 300 years old 12 to 1400 ton range 12 1400 yeah 1400 ton range um, lots of fuel capacity, more than we would expect. Uh, we find the shield uh, generator mounted in Area 24. Um, and we do some more research on, on this ship. This was the last uh, ship that General Products produced from a Carillion contra contract that they subsequently lost. Um, but this particular ship, 250 years old, uh, they is when they laid the keel. Uh, as much as the last cruise that, that they made on this particular one is an incomplete construction. They didn't finish it. I mean, the interior of the ship was just blank. I mean, they didn't they didn't have all the mounts drilled and stuff. A lot of stuff was just you know painted. You know, this is where we're gonna put something. This is where we're gonna put something else. Um, we find out. That during mid construction, this one was scrapped, like I mentioned, it was you know, incomplete construction. It was 10 years into its production cycle. And that's when General Price lost their contract. Uh, apparently, this model had various problems that year. Uh, various problems. And the year prior, they had lost a ship. There were a total of 20 ships produced, three were lost. Two is, one is missing, two were lost in combat, 17 are still in operation. Um, the three missing were the Ninker Sega, the Alamo, and the Kinnanir. Um, the Koreans have had engagements corewards, binward, and trailing from, from this sector. Uh, Dr. Lind, he's the guy behind the guy who hired us for this job, uh, wanted to meet with us. Um, and said he may have some more opportunities for us, but that would include an increased difficulty factor if we're interested. 
We can meet up with him on uh, Deza Cohen 4. That's the capital plan. So we take off for that. It's the capital of the United Romanian Worlds. It's a trinary sister, sister system. Uh, two moons got a gravity of 1.12, nitrogen oxygen atmosphere, uh, 65 billion population. There is an orbital star, star core that's built at a higher tech level, so it's being maintained by the Karelians, not, not the locals. It's got a dry dock in it. There is a cruiser in orbit, the Lumaru, uh, pin number 9526, 1,200 tons. The people here are religious communists, which I had forgotten about, which ties in a little better with something's going on with the current piece of the campaign. Um, we still have 100,000 Karelian credits from the ASL, and then uh, we got 24,000 credits for the job we did. Some stuff on that uh, Karelian cruiser, uh, dual ventral missile turrets, particle accelerators, and laser batteries with anti-personnel, and, and a boat. So... A lot of information load, background kind of stuff, res resetting ourselves, and that guy they have with this this piece of the scenario, this session. Um, and we are getting much, much closer to live play. Happy gaming!